Hi. Um, let me turn that down a little. I'm just really excited. I'm really happy. And I woke up this morning really happy because not only are a lot of good things happening, which it's a lot easier to be happy when good things are happening, but, um, you know, like my play being performed and some other really great things, but, um, but Buddhism doesn't teach us that happiness lies in what, you know, in our circumstances. I'm really happy, I gotta tell you. I'm so happy. Anyway, it's not in our circumstances that we find happiness. It's in practicing Buddhism. And in fact, what's so weird about Buddhism and very hard for people who don't practice Buddhism to understand and a whole lot of people who do practice Buddhism to understand, and that is this. When we have struggles, that's our opportunity to be happy. In other words, our happiness actually stems from our struggles and difficulties. There, I like the light in the background. Um, that's one of my paintings, by the way. Um, got one, got one. Squares, I don't know what I... It's kind of pretty right there. Um, anyway, uh, our happiness comes from our struggles. And our struggles give us the opportunity not just to change our karma, but... It, they give us the opportunity to build our life condition. We built, you know that old saying, we build character through difficulty. There's actually no other way to build character than through difficulty. There's no other way to become happy than through difficulty. Because as we overcome each one of those difficulties, we become stronger, we build our character in every way, we become braver, we become more compassionate. That's the essence of what uh, Buddhism is is compassion and uh, and uh, you know I guess I don't really know what I want to say except for that I'm really happy I've been making tons of causes to protect the Lotus Sutra with my life and that's the other key to practicing Buddhism it's um, we put our we put the Lotus Sutra before our own lives and ironically what happens as a result is we become super happy and we get the things that we want and but we don't practice to get necessarily to get the things we want that can be part of our practice but the main part of our practice is protecting the Lotus Sutra with our lives that that becomes the most important thing in other words Kosen Rufu which is world peace which is the peace and happiness of all living beings and when we put the peace and happiness of all living beings before our own happiness, we become happy. It sounds very codependent for codependent people like myself. You know, I'm, I've been historically codependent. I probably still have that streak very strong in my life. And, um, but, um, and so I have to work hard to um, fight against that codependent streak. But, this isn't codependency, this is compassion, and it's very different. Compassion and codependency are different, although people who are codependent can actually, you know, get a little confused between those two, and I've been guilty of that myself. Anyway, um, I don't know really what I'm saying other than I'm really happy, and I'm very thankful for being able to practice Buddhism, and uh, I just love being able to talk to you guys, and that may be one person, that may be a thousand people, I don't know. But chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo because it really works. There's nothing else like it. Nothing else is going to make you happy like chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo will. Nichiren Daishonin says, he says, um, there is no greater happiness for human beings than chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. And that really is the truth. Thanks. <laughs> Bye.